I love drawing. But a lot of people don't love drawing because they really don't know how. But I had a good teacher. So I feel comfortable with the skills of drawing. Therefore, I can love drawing. Well, I have a little skill to show you about how to use the pencil to create shading. This skill might just be what you need to make you love drawing. To begin with, to have to feel good about drawing and make drawing work for you, you need the right tool. A lot of people try to uh, create drawing with like number two office pencils and and, pen, and things like that, and they don't get the results because the pencil won't give them the range of darts that they need. I suggest that first of all find the right drawing pencil. Now a really inexpensive and fine little drawing pencil I enjoyed for years and years is the ebony pencil made by design. And these are available in all the art supply stores. If you happen not to have an ebony or access to one, well a number 2B or 3B or even 4B drawing pencil uh, will do the job for you. Uh, the other thing is how to sharpen the pencil. Now there are a lot of theories out there about how to sharpen pencil for drawing. I find that if you have a good electric pencil sharpener you can just sharpen it with uh, in order to get a, a nice long shaft like that and it works perfectly fine for me. I see no reason to go through all the antics that I see people going through for creating drawing. Drawing is simple. It, it should and the tool should be simple. So there's that. Uh, a good paper, a paper that doesn't have too much tooth, but yes, it has enough tooth so that you can make the mark. If the paper is too slick, you're not going to be able to get the material to stay on the paper and have the control that you can if it has a good tooth. So, you know, those things, once you have those things going, then let me show you this. Now, a lot of people have trouble with shading, and that's because they don't know how to control the dark and the light of the pencil. And if you will practice this little exercise I'm going to give you, I think you'll find that shading can become really, really simple and a lot of fun. So first of all, uh, the shaft of the pencil is this part right here. The point of the pencil, of course, is this part right here. So you want to hold the pencil so that it is slightly leaning towards the shaft and so that uh, holding it between with a good grip between your fingers and thumbs and then use wrist and shoulder and elbow motion to make the mark. Now to start out with allow um, allow the point uh, just at the point and onto the shaft of the pencil to move back and forth on the paper with uh, uh, and, and to make a mark just like this mark I'm making right here. You see the more you move it back and forth the darker the mark gets. Now notice this if you have a light grip on the pencil, you get a light mark. Holding the pencil lightly, you can't get it dark. Holding it very lightly, you get a light mark. When you squeeze the pencil, you get a dark mark. So squeezing and pushing and that movement of the repetitive movement back and forth gives you the dark mark. So those will be the first thing, first three things that you want to get control of. The grip of the pencil will determine, determine or help determine how light or dark the mark is going to be or the area is going to be. The other thing is being able of uh, creating a mark, a, an area that is the same value. So if you can take a uh, kind of a medium grip on your pencil and move it back and forth like I'm doing here and then and you can actually move it in both directions you can move it this direction as well as this direction but when you're moving it this direction um each each mark each area overlaps the other as you make each swipe with the pencil i should say overlaps the other you see and by allowing it to overlap like that you cre you can create a solid area so um the I the idea here is to help you to get control of what that feels like make yourself an area that's say an, eight, an inch square or, or a couple of inches square all the same volume. So I might make 
that area the same volume and then I might use a very light grip and make another very light area and you see this is possible all you have to do is be conscious of how um, of the light grip you have on the pencil not holding it very tight at all you see you can get this very smooth beautiful light area um, and you can make an area as light, uh, as smooth and uniform as you need it or you can vary it all right <clears throat> the other thing is dark when you squeeze the pencil you can make a very dark area like this again moving it back and forth and allowing each stroke to overlap the previous stroke bringing it then towards you and you see uh, you can move back and forth like you see me doing here let me do it slow motion you can move back and forth to keep it smooth but then keep pulling keep pulling the pencil in this direction and allowing that whole area to be a solid dark and you might um, it, it might be fun to see just how dark you can get that dark now here's here's the thing most people don't squeeze it tight enough and won't be able to get this dark nice rich and dark enough so it's important that you're able to get your darks as dark as the potential of the pencil once you have mastered getting a, a j just being able to get an area of the same value throughout then being able to master um, or once you've mastered being able to get a solid value of light and a solid value of dark the next step then is to get a shade or shading or we might call it a gradation so I'll switch to a different pencil here it's the same pencil it's just sharpened freshly sharpened and the uh, keeping the pencil freshly sharpened makes it work so much better for you so here's the way this goes you're going to do a value gradation you're going to start here let's say let's keep let's draw a little line so that it's going to be the same width all the way down so I'm going to start here and this is where it's going to get very dark so I'm going to move towards move in this direction right here and I'm just moving back and forth between these two perimeters I set here and and squeezing the pencil just about as tight as I can squeeze it as I give it these swipes and making sure that that band I'm making there is wide enough to be visible and as dark as I can possibly make it with this pencil then as I move in this direction I'm going to gradually let up on the pressure now there is a tricky part this is a tricky I'm going to gradually let up on the pressure so that it gradually changes from the darkest dark that pencil will make to the lightest light the pencil will make so and you see I can keep moving back and forth to smooth it out so see I'm letting up on the pressure now, I'm doing two things I'm, I'm letting up on the pressure that the grip that I have on the pencil as I'm moving back and forth and I'm also uh, moving uh, moving back and forth like this to be sure that it's smooth now when I start that work again I want to be sure I'm on that, that worn down area because as the pencil will will um, wear to a flatness and it will become easier to work with for making these shaded areas um, the more you use it okay now what I'm aiming for here is I don't I want to see do not want to see where the darkest dark ends and the next value begins so I blend that together that's all a part of good shading is not to be able to see where one value ends and the other begins and you see I'm gradually letting it get lighter now it's about a middle value and just moving back and forth to keep that nice and smooth gradation like that and then I'll continue to let up on the pressure let up on the pressure of the pencil so that it gets lighter and lighter and lighter and go back here and be sure that it's um, smoothly gradating that it doesn't jump too quick from the darkest dark to the lightest light and then you notice that 
you can you'll start out very fast and as you get lighter your motions seem to want to get slower and then I'll keep going until I reach the point where the pencil just sort of falls out of my hand now I have this nice nice shading nice a gradation of from the darkest dark to the lightest light and it's the equal width now the thing that you'll run into if you don't make yourself parameters here's what will happen it happens to so many people they'll start this and then as they get closer and closer and closer to the lighter it gets narrow and more and more and more narrow and it comes in looking like a little tornado so to have control over um, the the width of the shape also will help you develop the skill so if you practice those two skills the skill first of all of being able to get a solid area of value the same with the shaft of the pencil or just at the point between the shaft and the point and then one that is the lightest light you can make it one that's the darkest dark you can make it that's your first step and then practice this practice getting this um, sh shading a strip of shading or gradation strip that goes from the darkest dark possible with that pencil on to the lightest light I think if you do that you'll find that this opens up all kinds of possibilities of what you can do to use uh, the shading with just a plain soft pencil to make drawing more fun for you so that you too will love drawing and there's your quick tip